They're the same. Trouble afoot. Apples! I'm in dire need to see the Princess of Friendship! Ember exploded out of the sky on beautiful blue wings, landing right beside Applejack grazing in the open field. Mo? Applejack lifted her head from the tall grays in a dreamy daze, unsure of what the dragon princess was going on about. What? What? Is that all you can say? This is an emergency, not a time for games! Ember snorted a stream of flames from her nostrils in annoyance. Applejack swished her tail in a lackadaisical manner. Mo? She spoke without a care in the world, turning her spotted rotund body and walking off into the distance to lie down. What? Uh, Hardworking indeed, I see. Ugh. I'll make sure to tell the princess about this. Ember darted off back into the sky hastily to find help. Luckily, she spotted Rainbow Dash in a tree. She hovered over a nest of hatchlings chewing up a mouthful of fresh worms. Without a moment to spare, Ember perched on the same branch. Rainbow, I need you to accompany me to the princess. Ember struggled to speak as she tried to catch her breath. Rainbow looked at her curiously with a melodic tweet, before turning away from her to vomit up a mixture of dead worms into her children's mouths. This isn't the time to feed your young, I need help! Ember watched the Pegasus ignore her completely, and lay inside the nest to keep her babies warm as they ate. Ember couldn't believe how selfish these ponies had become. Had they forsaken the teachings of friendship and turned away from the princess? Was this town of equines under attack from another vile force of evil? Luckily for her sake, Fluttershy was swimming in the pond right across from this cursed tree. Her yellow feathers glistened with cooling water, as she preened her coat with her bright orange bill. Oh, Fluttershy, will you help me? All Rainbow is doing is whistling! Ember screamed from atop the branches as the blue pegasus continued to chirp annoyingly in her ear. Fluttershy honked outward in a tone that wasn't polite or reserved at all. A quack? Are you making fun of me? Ember gasped in shock at such a vulgar response to her pleas. Fluttershy shook out her coat wildly, shaking water all around before sneezing loudly. I used to think you had the most class, but now I know the truth! Ember felt her eyes sting with tears as she flew off into the sky above, heartbroken from such vulgarity. Flying into the park, she spotted Pinkie Pie sitting atop the trash can, no doubt being her odd and colorful self. Ember landed a few feet away to compose herself, wiping away tears and taking a deep breath. <sighs> Pink one, will you aid me, or shall you be as rude as your friends? Ember cautiously spoke to Pinky, who sat there in silence. Well, nothing to say? She watched ants begin to crawl over Pinky as she stood there in continued silence. I see, it's me, isn't it? Ember screamed at Pinky, who decided to rudely fall over onto the ground and get carried away by hundreds of ants. Why won't no pony answer me? Ember screamed as she exhaled a stream of flames over the trash bin and shot into the sky. A tiny filly walking with her mother down the park trails looked up curiously. Mommy, that big lizard was talking to Cotton Candy. She watched the gecko fly away in awe. Uh, don't mind her, she's... Uh, odd. The mother sighed, shaking her head confused. With a mighty thud, the dragoness landed in the middle of town in a clear panic. Had these ponies been cursed by evil magic or simply lost their minds? Her eyes darted across to a nearby bakery, just in time to see a pony eating derpy, the mare's teeth digging into her brand covered sides sickeningly. Oh my dragon lord, you've become cannibals! Ember screamed at the mare who slowly swallowed her breakfast muffin, confused. Ember stumbled backward as even the children impaled sticks into the backsides of Sweetie Belle and Rarity lifting them effortlessly over a bonfire, giggling like creatures gone mad. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ember lifted both claws to her head and let out a piercing scream of terror. Ponyville came to a halt around the now crying dragoness in the middle of town. Whispers wafted on the winds eerily as Starlight Glimmer rushed over towards the royal in distress. Uh, Ember, are you okay? Starlight asked in her usual sarcastic tone the dragoness still not completely trusting her after her redemption. I need the princess, not you, Starlight! Ember hissed and pushed her away, frightened. Um, Ember? It is me. Twilight? 
Starlight tilted her head confused with a scrunched muzzle. No, that's Twilight. She pointed a claw towards the coffee shop, as the princess and her archenemy Trixie shared a drink, giggling. Which honestly did vex her. All clues pointed to an evil unicorn curse. And then, she went into an all-out attack on Twilight, saying she had placed some curse on the town! Spike exploded in the laughter as he rolled onto his side, Smolder giggling with both claws covering her snout. It was a nice day to hang out in the Dragonlands, especially on a vacation as the volcanic vents were in full swing this time of year. Ember perched above on a rocky hill, overhearing the two teens laughing as she swooped closer, knowing that the story wasn't correct at all. Children had a real tendency to exaggerate, especially with such rumors. I'll have you two know I didn't wander the countryside that confused. Ember huffed as both claws landed on her hips. <laughs> Don't feel so bad, Ember. It's funny and kind of cute. Smolder teased her elder playfully with her tongue stuck out. Uh-huh. And what's the difference between these two images? Spike chuckled and lifted two photos, one of Twilight and the other of Starlight. They're the same picture. That was freaking glorious. And nothing beats short stories like this to keep the mood high. Anywho, let's get on to our intelligent donators. Top donators, Jesse Smith, Star 630, Badass, Swap, All-In-One Things, Ryan and Calidus. Patrick, Chuck, Tia, Flucio, Darkside, Raiden, Noahs, Black Moon, Rap, Pastel, Scass, Austin, Wallen, Sorpa, The Mortal, Dominic, Home, Library, Runescythe, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Rassel, Shadow, Moon, Luigi, Chancer, Crust, Big Smoke, Bobcat, Murder, Princess, Jet, Little Mighty, Solar Symphony, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.